Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. And to all my returning subscribers, you're welcome. In today's video, we are going to be talking about hair loss. It's embraced by making hit, or maybe buying things that you know others can't achieve. Heaven tell them that hair loss is nothing new. Men and women deal with hair loss. It could be stress, it could be changing hormonal levels, it could be just general carelessness, you know, towards hair care and many more. But today our focus is going to be on how to handle and manage some of these things. So when it comes to hair loss or breakage, I would like us to understand that these are two different things. Breakage doesn't go out from the roots of the hair. You know, you just have, that is what actually leads to the split ends you have. Breakage just happens along the strands of the hair. But when it comes to hair loss, this has to do with the hair follicles, right? It goes out of it directly and you see them coming out in really long strands. In my own case, I have had to deal with a number of hair issues this year. In this picture over here, you can see one of the things that I've dealt with and I'm going to start with that. Hair tension is actually something that we need to take seriously. I did not change my hairstylist, but something happened which was out of the ordinary. I think the way she went about this particular corn rolls, something was just off. And I noticed that after two days, my scalp started itching. The corn rolls were new and my scalp hurts easily. So I wasn't ready to take it down anytime soon. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just give it some time and see what happens. I realized that, okay, it had gone beyond the itching and there was some swelling so when hair is being pulled tightly right this is when you get to experience that and you notice also that a hair follicle becomes damaged or inflamed yes so this is bad because you see that over time people who always play with their edges when it comes to braids you know those ones i must do every hairstyle and hey i must follow the trend yeah, when they mess up the edges, you see that over time, hair stops growing there. That is because the hair follicle becomes damaged as a result of the tension there. So uh, the shaft, that is those white things you see that follows the hair actually, it pulls out completely and or it might actually become inflamed. In my own case, I noticed that even when I had taken care of it, eventually I had to take the hair down because it wasn't going to stop. I took the hair down. I couldn't comb it immediately. So what I did was just to keep moisturizing. And for you to be able to handle that, we have oils, right? Essential oils are very helpful. You can use essential oils like lavender, peppermint, and even castor oil has really good healing properties. I also used, um, what do you call it? Um, tea tree. Yes, I had a little bit of tea tree and my hair oil had ginger. So all these things were able to help me deal with it. And I think after a week, it was fine. And trust me, I didn't just leave my hair like that. Of course, I just twisted it down and kept moisturizing until I was able to finally comb the hair and deal with that. Keep your hair moisturized. And even if you've been using a particular hairstylist and you notice any changes, please don't hesitate to tackle that issue immediately or take down that particular hairstyle. Trust me guys, I paid for it because at those points where I had those swollen, um, swollen pores, I actually lost hair in those places because at the point where it dried, you know, you just want to scrape it and the next thing the hair is out, right? So let's be guided. Another thing I also dealt with was dandruff at some point. The reason I started dealing with dandruff was because I became so busy at that time. This was unlike me. So my scalp was not properly moisturized and i told myself i said no this is not how it's supposed to be and of course for the dandruff 
I still used my clarifying shampoo. Make sure you get a very good clarifying shampoo. Apple cider in your shampoo does really well. It helps to clarify your scalp. You have tea tree and, you know, other really great ingredients in your shampoo that help you tackle dandruff and the likes of them. So the third one for me is braids. I knew that braids are really cool and beautiful, but they can actually be very, very bad for your hair. The first problem with braids for me is the fact that your hair loses moisture. So when you, when you rock braids or when you're wearing braids, you need to make sure that your hair is constantly moisturized. I think for me, this is not so much of a problem because I tend to be consistent with moisturizing the hair. The major problem for me now was at the point of the braids where, you know, ah, they tell your auntie, let's help you trim it now. They want to clean it and all that. You know, I've told them, just let the hair be, okay? If it shows, it's my hair. The braids are just an extension. So if you can wrap it in properly during the, the braiding, let it be, okay? And sometimes they're like, yeah, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala. You get, and then when, you, of course, you're not going to be watching. And the next thing, they are trimming it, or oh, they make it clean and all that. Then you take out the braids and you realize that, okay, there's a lot of hair going off. There's a lot of hair going off, despite the fact that you moisturize. And it is so painful when you see, you know, there are some, <laughs> there's a way they handle the scissors sometimes that you just see that there's a way they, they, they mistakenly cut that part. So when you're losing your hair, you see it stick out like this. And when you take it out, you see that it's entire strands going down. Well, that is, I have myself to blame because, um, should I even blame myself? Well, rocking natural hair sometimes can, I, I get tired and I just don't want to have to rock it like that. So the braid is like an escape route for me. So that is why I don't do like, um, really big ones. I do like medium sized so that it's really easy for me to take out and all that, but I get tired. But moving on from now, I won't be braiding my hair in a very, very long time. I've been through so much and I don't think I want to go 10 steps forward and go five steps back. This gives you uneven ends. It makes your hair look like it has split ends. It reduces the volume of your hair and it is just not nice to look at, okay? So let's be mindful of braids. For me, in the coming year and moving forward, I won't be doing much braids. What am I saying? I think from now, for the next eight months, I won't be doing any braids. Yeah, so pardon me if you used to see me on my natural hair. Yeah, it's my hair, so I will be rocking it for as long as I want. Thank you. Well, 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 well. So, so the last one that I'll be talking about is stress. Can you talk about stress, right? It, it's almost like being in Nigeria is enough stress, right? Not just Nigeria, but being in the world lately is enough stress for any human being, right? It can be stressful. So, but what matters is how you manage it and how you're able to you know deal with it it could be from family it could be from work it could be from even personal issues that one is dealing with right it is just natural human response that prompts us to want to adjust certain challenges right and fix certain situations or threats to our lives it, so sometimes you might actually be dealing with stress and uh you won't even know because you feel like, okay, hey, I'm trying to get this done. I'm trying to sort it out. I just want to fix it. And you won't even know that it is overwhelming you already at that point. So you need to be really careful. Hair loss as a result of stress is called telogene effluvin. But the good thing about this is that as soon as that part goes away, the hair regrows. Okay. So within the period of about three to six months, 
depending on how fast your hair grows, you should be able to notice some changes, some changes as you go on. Moving forward, the solutions to this hair breakage and all, the fact that I get to post videos and you get to see hair care tips and all that, it doesn't mean that we have it perfect going. I don't have it perfect. And so never think that if for any reason you begin to have issues with your hair at some point, there is something wrong with you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. It is just that it's part of life. These things happen. You get through it and you find solutions and you're able to move on. Right? So guys, uh, I hope that you guys just have a wonderful time. I would have shown you guys maybe when I did the twists, but you see from here that it's just so uneven. See what I'm talking about? You'll see it from here. These are areas that, um, and I did a lot of side parts. In. So, okay, let me take this out completely. This was what my braids looked like each time I did the front. I had them full from top to bottom, but it looked so different, very, very different at this time. Please do well to take good care of yourselves in this season, and I am sending love and life. And how was life? The one that we forget to use. Love you all. I've just been smiling like you know we do.